And hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe After Effects and showing you how to speed up or slow down your video, either through time stretch to time remapping or frame blending. If one of those three topics there interests you, and this is the tutorial for you, because we're going to be showing you all about speed and how to change the speed of your video. Now this is something if you're looking for slow motion, if you're looking for uh, sped up motion in your videos, this is kind of generally what you're going to be doing. Now here I have a piece of footage of someone drumming here at normal speed here. You see I've ram previewed a small portion of this so we can see it at normal speed. But say I wanted to make this slower. Say I wanted to slow it down in slow motion by half. I wanted to take two times longer. What I can do is right click our layer here, go up to time and click time stretch. Now, generally you can type in a duration if you want it to last a certain length, you can type a duration in. Otherwise, you can type a percentage here. Now, if you were to type 50%, that means your uh, footage will take half as long. So 100% is its normal length. It will take 100% of its time. If you type in 50%, it will take up half of its time, meaning it will go quicker. You'll speed it up and the duration will decrease. If you were to put 200%, for example, that will basically increase the length of your video to 200% of its original length, making it slower, so you're slowing it down. That's kind of how you want to think about this. So we're going to put 200%. We want to slow it down uh, by half, so it's slow motion. And when we render this, what you'll see is that After Effects has actually slowed this down. And how you can tell is because now every frame is duplicated. Because we increase this 200% is going twice as slow uh, basically each frame is duplicated here now this can look kind of weird when you uh, want to slow something down one of the things you can do is activate frame blending here and when you activate in the composition here you also want to activate it on the layer here right here and when you click the little box here if you don't see these options click toggle switches at the bottom here and when you see this to be a little diagonal line so what this will actually do is it'll take the first frame and it'll take the next frame and then make it a bit opaque. It'll basically blend the frames together by changing the opacity, putting both frames together and blending it. However, this can still look kind of weird depending on what kind of effect you're looking for. Sometimes this is appropriate, sometimes it isn't. If I were to RAM preview this small portion right here and we take a look at it, you can see that the frames are being blended by the opacity being changed in between the two frames so there's not being duplicates so you could do that the other alternative you have is pressing uh frame blending again that'll change the direction of this line and here it's actually creating a new frame instead of instead of using duplicates like it did at the first time instead of using two frames and changing the opacity here it's actually creating a new frame so here this is our first frame this will be our second frame, but in between, it's actually created a brand new frame based off of the two that we have. And sometimes, once again, this can look kind of weird depending on what type of footage you have. Other times, it looks really well done, like here, it looks really well done. And if we're a RAM preview, there's a small portion of it. We can see that it's actually pretty nice looking this way. As you can see, looks pretty good. Now, there are other ways of also changing the time of your video. We're going to go ahead and deactivate frame blending here and deactivate that. Now, the other option you have is by using uh, time remapping. I basically just uh, moved the cursor of this video to the front because uh, if, you, if you were to cut this layer right here, uh, time remapping kind of goes a bit messy with different layers and with cutting. So you want to make sure that you have the full piece of footage when you're using time remapping or you want to have it set in and out points in the actual uh, footage here when you're picking footage before placing into your composition. So this is the beginning of my footage and this is at normal speed right now. But if I were to go to time and go to enable time remapping, you're going to get two keyframes. This is one keyframe. This is the second keyframe. Uh, essentially, if you were to move this keyframe back, this basically gets sped up and you notice the footage ends early now similarly you can also uh, move this 
back more to the right and this goes a lot slower now if you wanted to make a speed ramp where at one point it starts going slow and then it speeds up again which is a lot what a lot of action movies do when they zoom into something it goes very slow motion and then it goes back to fast motion you could do that as well and the way you do that is by creating a keyframe so say for the for the first few for the first few seconds i want to go slow motion so for the first two seconds here i want to go slow motion which is fine we're going to go ahead and create a keyframe here and once we create that keyframe here what we can do now we have three keyframes we have one we have two in the beginning and one in the end so what we're going to do is just grab the new keyframe we made and we move it to the right and that will slow down this first portion of the video as you see this is slowed down but if we wanted to speed up the next portion we move this forward and this part will be slowed down and this part will be sped up you have to move around these dots here these little keyframes and that will basically get you the effect you're looking for i tend to use time remapping a lot more because you have more full control you can add keyframes you can speed up certain parts of the video make certain parts of the video go faster however you want to do a general time change for an entire piece of footage maybe time stretch will do just a trick for you and you can use one of the frame blending features here and that's pretty much the tutorial hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you found it helpful and if you did, go ahead and leave a subscribe and a like. Lots of other tutorials on our channel. Lots of other uh, After Effects tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, video editing, design tutorials, anything like that. So go ahead and subscribe. If you'd like to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, anything as low as that is very helpful, very much appreciated. Click the card in the top right-hand corner of the screen. we bring you to the page. I also have a vlogging channel, music channel, gaming channel, and advice channel. Want to check those out. Links in the description as well as on the end card. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSMan with Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.